Increasingly, I've been fascinated by the new material uh, or fabrication processes of composites, um, which have enjoyed enormous success, particularly in this region. I think New England is one of the pioneering areas of composite uh, fabrication research in the world. And uh, over the last three, you know, four or five years, I've gotten to know and gather a team of, of people, composite engineers, composite fabricators, uh, composite manufacturers, material scientists, um, to explore how we might reconceive uh, the, the way we build buildings. So could you, uh, just as, as the boat building industry has been radicalized by composite methodologies, driven in large part by things like the America's Cup race, Formula One racing, NASA, US military applications, um, and that has ushered in a, a, a completely different way of, of conceiving and building of, of boats in particular in this region. Could you, um, you know, follow that and look at, at how to reconceive the way we build buildings? But typically buildings are constructed uh, as sort of late industrial logics, so a logic of of separate components that are brought together in a, in a macro assembly. Um, every component is quite elegant in its production, um, but the assembly of it is a catastrophe. I mean, if you look around any space you're in, it's an aluminium mullion, a ceiling tile, there's a steel track behind it, there's a vent. Uh, that is how they used to build boats, sort of frame and infill, a multi-component assembly with armies of people putting them all together. Um, what you now see in the boat building industry is a, is a greatly streamlined process of designers and CAD CAM, so it's uh, computer-aided design, computer-aided um, you know, fabrication techniques and cloth essentially being laid into molds and consolidated. Um, so carbon fiber, glass fiber, uh, and that has given birth to ultra lightweight, highly performative, you know, thin skin structural elements. And so my interest of late has been, could we conceive of buildings using these methodologies and with what advantage? Uh, in particular, we're focusing on a new class of plastics, well not a new class, but an increasingly important class of, of fiberglass, which is the thermoplastics, which only use heat to combine uh, a resin with a, a fiber matrix instead of hardening a, a liquid with a, a catalyst or an initiator. Um, and the thermoplastics, uh, what, what interests me is suddenly there are continuous feed thermoplastic processes uh, which give the advantages of, of composites but with economy because it's a continuous feed uh, consolidation of these things into panels. So my principal research initiative at the moment is, is thermoplastic housing and we're recognizing that the, um, the built environment is probably going to double in the next 20 to 30 years on the planet. The number of buildings is probably going to double is the latest conjecture here. Uh, housing, we probably need something like the last 6,000 years of housing but this time in 20 to 30 years which is the developing world uh, coming online, you know, gaining population, a burgeoning population, but economic development is, is requiring uh, a, a wholly changed attitude towards housing. So in many of the developing areas of the world, housing is, is at issue. And the manner in which we're building buildings is, is highly polluting. I mean, I think the building industry is unquestionably the, the most polluting human activity uh, you know, on the planet in terms of both how buildings are built and the, the, the uh, carbon footprint of, of all the processes it takes to, to put a building into existence, but then also in the usage of the building, the energy it consumes. Um, 40 to 60 percent of all the energy we produce goes into buildings, for instance. So the, the thermoplastic housing initiative is looking at, you know, could we start fabricating um, as a unitary logic, not a multi-component logic, as a unitary logic, CAD-CAM meets this new thermoplastic material processing to create thin skin, highly resilient, you know, green, durable building envelopes that might, might mitigate uh, significantly the, the environmental impact 
reduce costs of the building industry, which are a great impediment, um, and just, just usher in a, a new building technology that might take hold and have, have broad influence that updates the building industry, if you like, into a digital age. So that's what we've been uh, working at. Uh, the first clients are US military, um, so uh, looking, looking at the enhanced properties that we can give. But we're very hopeful that that, that initiative, as we start prototyping it, really evidences you know, distinct advantage. <laughs>